Hey guys, Ed Bud here. Today I'm testing out the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent on our longer run. So today I got to take part in a local running challenge, the running club I'm a member of, the Yeovil Town Road Running Club, had a challenge out to its members of the 10 mile distance. Typically around this time there's a very muddy trail run which takes place relatively locally I think this race is, but of course what with the pandemic that's going on right now that wasn't taking place. So one of the members decided it would be a great idea to put out the challenge of the distance and people have been undertaking it on all sorts of different terrain and I thought it was about that time again to give myself another challenge. I've been enjoying those challenges recently with the A6 World Ekaden for example which just gives everything a little bit more meaning I suppose to avoid any falls or scrapes and keep the training nice and consistent. I decided to use my typical route for this one. It was certainly crisp and chilly out there. Three degrees Celsius with a very light northerly wind. I used to really enjoy listening to the shipping forecast sometimes. I don't know if any of you guys have ever listened to that. It's great fun. Before we get into the main part of the video guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications before we launch those new videos. And don't forget the Ed Bud Teespring merchandise is available. Check down below in the description for a link to that, or you should be able to see it just below the video too. So testing out that Alpha Fly at pace of six minutes, 59 seconds per mile today, with a time of one hour, 10 minutes and four seconds. I think I went just over the 10 mile mark, so I think it was probably around about one hour, 10 minutes. So that pace of six minutes, 59 per mile equates to about four minutes, 20 seconds per kilometer. 220 foot of elevation, so it wasn't all flat, and it was an out and back route as well. So. You can see that on the elevation profile. Yeovil's a very hilly place. The main town centre is kind of in a big bowl or all the way around the edge. There's loads of hills everywhere. A runner's paradise. Well, I would say for people that like hills. Even the Polar OH1 Plus today had some issues. I tend to wear it up on my upper arm here. That's where it suggests you should wear it. And I get some very consistent results using that monitor. But we still had a couple of dropouts. It was very cold out there. I think perhaps some sweat and some very cool conditions perhaps caused the issue. It was only for a few seconds though. And I think I can believe in the results that I've got there in terms of the heart rate. I was up in that threshold zone working, but not out of my comfort zone. The Garmin reckoned uh, it was about 84% of the run today was in that threshold area. Cadence in the right place too, around about 175 steps per minute average. So how did these hold up over the 10 mile mark? I must say now I have cleaned them. They did need some cleaning. The underside, especially the nooks and crannies in here were completely coated in dirt, there was twigs, all sorts of stuff, small pieces of acorn. I think I might have even picked up some berries. They do wash incredibly well. A bit of dish soap, a very fine brush, stuff them full of some old dish cloths as well, just to soak up some of the moisture. And they've come out really well. I'm amazed actually, in fact, how well these have come out. I did a good job. Though in fairness, I need to do a little bit more around the house at the moment. I think I've let myself down recently. I've not been doing enough. I'm a bad man. So upper-wise, I have to declare that my feet were absolutely frozen wearing these shoes today. Breathability obviously is absolutely smashing, but when it's very cold like it was today, the Alpha Fly aren't going to do very much to keep your feet warm. So I did my best today to try and avoid some of the many puddles that are out there. You could say the very breathable or see-through nature of this shoe. That atom knit material allows loads of cool air to come in but alas, also lots of moisture. It doesn't hold on to the moisture by any stretch, but my toes are freezing. I could have worn any type of sock today and it still would have been cold in this shoe. Just something to bear in mind. No issues at all with fit in this one. I went true to size, a UK size 11. In some Nike shoes, I do need to size up a half size, but in these, fit is perfect for me. I think they're a little bit roomier perhaps than a lot of other shoes in Nike's lineup right now. The dry fit socks that I did use today are somewhat more coarse underfoot and they grip on a little better to those glued in insoles that you find within the Alpha Fly. I've tried a few other makes and brands out but those seem to work quite well with the glued in insole. Lockdown was consistent today over the 10 miles. That didn't alter at all over the miles. Nice and consistent. They really did hit the mark today midsole now and i've got to say that the shoe's still feeling really nice and compressive it's still feeling cushioned the majority of today's run was in that midfoot area going at that type of pace for me it's getting up towards my target half marathon goal pace i've got to say though it is a massive departure in terms of underfoot feel 
from the Tempo Next Percent. I've used that recently when the temperatures have been much cooler and this one to me feels a hell of a lot more flexible and the noise levels lower as well. I think the additional rubber in the Tempo Next Percent does limit the flexibility a little bit. I mean, some people are going to prefer that they're going to want a slightly more rigid nature. I like both shoes, but I guess for different reasons. I mean, they've got the same type of technology, the same type of implementation of those AirPods, but they do feel quite different to me. I don't think I've got a real preference there. I like both of the shoes. Durability wise in the midsole, I can't help but feel that the Alpha Fly is actually holding up better than the Next Percent, I have to say. I've had a couple of pairs of Next Percents. The second one's getting towards 100 miles. I think it's probably around about the same usage as this shoe and the Alpha Fly is holding up better. No sign of any degradation to these AirPods so far. I'm still feeling really squishy and compressive and bouncy or whatever other words that you want to use that sound a bit like a spring. Certainly helped me today keep a nice consistent pace. There wasn't a point where I ever felt particularly fatigued today. Sometimes on a 10 mile effort like that, certainly when I'm in threshold pace, I can start to feel fatigued around about six, seven miles, but that simply didn't happen today. So that half marathon goal pace just getting a little bit closer, week by week, session by session, pizza by pizza. When you go out and run like a good session like I did today, it often makes me wonder, what made it a good session? Did I get a lot of sleep? Did I prepare well? Was it the gear? Was it the temperature? But I have to say yesterday I ate a whole pizza and like a really nice bottle of beer with it. It was great. And I woke up today and I just felt really up for it. So there we go. Maybe that's what Kipchoge's secret is. He likes a nice bottle of pale ale, <laughs> maybe a pint of bass. Certainly training in some heavier options this week, I think benefited me a little bit. I mean, these Legend React 3 shields are quite a bit heavier than the Alpha Fly. I think it's probably about 80 grams per shoe. So when you put the Alpha Fly on, they just felt like a feather on my foot. I had a wizard idea today. I didn't want the Alpha Flies to be stuck in the box and lonely this Christmas. So a nice run in some mud seemed appropriate. And you know, it's good to treat yourself because Christmas isn't every day factoring in those rubber fins in the forefoot. Against some damp leaves today, they came out on top. Muddy patches were just squashed like a fruitless lawsuit. No major issues today on my West Country preambulation in the Alpha Fly. The latter part of the run, in fairness, left me feeling like I could have kept on rolling and taken it up to the half marathon distance, but there was a reason to be home. Baby duties were on the cards and young Master Fergus was in no mood to have fun. This is what happens when people don't get their naps. I think he'd woken up on the wrong side of the cot. As I said, running those easier miles week on week, just at a slightly slower pace, like 10, 20 seconds per mile, really is starting to benefit me. And I can't stress that enough to you guys. Run those slow miles nice and slow. Run the easy miles with ease. It's just meant that I can hit the harder sessions with a lot more force and make far better use of those aerobic miles. So I can just get up and really test at that threshold pace. It's been nice doing that this week, a couple of faster sessions, and it's really benefiting me when I go out and do some of these challenges, I suppose, if you want to call them that, and you don't want to call them races. So that Alpha Fly might not be cropping up in lots of races right now, but I think as more people harness the attributes of this shoe in 2021, I think we'll see them appearing a lot more. What are your experiences, guys, of using the Alpha Fly on your training or races or challenges or virtual events? Let me know down in the comments. It's time for a musical interlude. Christmas music can be a little bit of a letdown. You know, there's lots of pop and not very good stuff out there. Just really forgettable things. They, they kind of taste a little bit like the chocolates that nobody wants in the sweet tin. One such winterized track, though, is Rock and Roll Winter by Wizard. Go and check this one out. Everybody knows I uh, wish it could be Christmas every day, right? But this is a fantastic, more subtle winter tune. There's beautiful strings there and that wonderful vocal delivery by Roy Wood. Loads and loads of saxophone in there. Staple Roy Wood and Wizard stuff. I mean, with an opening line of, it's so sad to leave you crying in the rain. I mean, it just captures you straight away. It all seems to be around perhaps meeting his wife, I think, from listening to the words of the song. It's quite a beautiful song, quite a romantic tune. And the horns that are just underneath the chorus sound absolutely fantastic with the vocal here, where he sings, we're gonna make some rock and roll this winter. I mean, it's just brilliant. 
Every time I hear this song, it stirs loads of emotions in me. Makes me feel so happy, makes me feel kind of sad right now because we can't play rock and roll at the moment. But that's gonna change, I can see it coming on the horizon. It's almost there, it's tantalizingly close. So go and check this one out, Rock and Roll Winter by Roy Wood and Wizard. Right guys, it's about time for me to mosey off into the snowstorm. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications of when we launch those new videos. It really does help the channel out a huge amount too if you give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.